This video is an overview of Robert Sternberg's Triangular Theory of Love. The Triangular Theory Perspective on Happiness The theory of love was developed by Robert Sternberg and consists of three main components. The three main components that make up this theory are passion, which includes sexual arousal, intimacy, which includes a feeling of closeness, and commitment, which on the long-term scale results in marriage or long-term cohabitations of couples. These components can be seen throughout relationships that make up our cultures today. This is Robert Sternberg's triangle. As you can see, the three main components make up the basis of the triangle. The three main components are arranged in this triangular format to allow for better understanding of these components as well as their combinations. As you can see, the main points, intimacy, passion, and commitment are the angles that develop the triangular theory of love. The sides of the triangle are made up of combinations of these components. Passion and intimacy can result in romantic love. Intimacy and commitment can result in companionate love. Passion and commitment and can result in fatuous love. What is consummate love? Well, consummate love is the best type of relationship that anybody would like to have. The reason why this is the best type of relationship that anyone would like to have includes the reason that passion, intimacy, and commitment are the main key components that make up these type of relationships. However, keeping consummate love is hard to maintain due to the fact of the demands of everyday life as well as the, tend of the tendency of couples to lack the passion as well as keeping up the passion in their relationship. The lack of passion in a relationship can lead to unhappiness, which can often lead to marital strife. Things that can lead to more passion in a relationship are participating in activities of common interest and activities that induce flow through your brain and stuff that couples originally enjoyed as dating. One of the main components of the triangular theory of love is passion. Passion is known to some people as a crush or a feeling of attraction that can overcome people. It's been explained as a feeling of love at first sight. Passion can often lead when combined with other components such as passion and intimacy to romantic love. Romantic love includes emotion as well as physical passion. Another combination of passion includes fatuous love when passion is combined with commitment. Fatuous love is mostly based on passion, 
which led to a rapid commitment without any consideration for intimate components. The next component of the triangular theory of love is intimacy. Intimacy can be characterized as a close bond or a connection that resembles a true friendship. Intimacy can develop into a type of other love when combined with another component. Companionate love is most often found amongst close friends or family members. When intimacy is combined with commitment and companionate love, it can be resembled as a brotherly or sisterly, sisterly love. This can also develop into a romantic love, with intimacy and caring, ro a romantic relationship can form between a couple. The last component of the triangular theory of love is commitment. When commitment is the only regarded component in a relationship, it can often turn into a loveless, emotional bearing relationship. This often develops into empty love. Empty love is a relationship in which all components have disappeared except commitment. Examples of a reign of empty love are arranged marriages. In some cultures, arranged marriages are decided at very young ages. Therefore, couples never get to meet each other or get to know each other before they are married. Therefore, their marriages begin in empty loves. Commitments can also lead to companionate love. If you have a commitment to your friends, you will begin to gain a type of companionate love for them. Here are some review questions over the topics that we covered in the slideshow. What is consummate love? Consummate love is an equal combination of passion, intimacy, and commitment, as well as the center of the Sternberg Triangle. Name the three subcomponents sub of the Sternberg Triangle. The three subcomponents are romantic love, fatuous love, and companionate love. What is one aspect of romantic love? Romantic love is an emotional bond through a physical arousal. What is one aspect of fatuous love? Fatuous love is based on a passionate bond without any type of consideration for the intimacy component. What is an example of empty love? Arranged marriages in some cultures can be examples of empty love for the main fact that couples never meet before marriage. Therefore, their marriages are based on commitment only. The end.